I'm going to do number one as an example. The chief component of glass is silica, for which the formula SiO2 can be used. Silica is dissolved by hydrofluoric acid that produces a runtime. Okay, so this is our reaction. I can see it's already been um, balanced because I have coefficients in here. You can double check, um, just checking real quick, one silicon, one silicon, two oxygen, and then two because that two distributes, um, four hydrogen, four hydrogen because those twos multiply, and then four fluorine again because that distributes, and then the four fluorine there. So I am balanced, I double checked, good to go. These are answers in bold. I did put the answers on here so you can check your answers so you guys do need to show the work. Um, the first question says how many grams and how many moles? So those are the two things I'm looking for of silicon tetrafluoride. It can be produced from 63.4 grams of hydrofluoric acid. So I have my um, 63.4, so that's my given. And I'm going to actually down below, you guys can like ignore number two. Um, I mean, not ignore it, you can do it, but I'm going to write below it. I'm not doing number two, I'm just doing number one. So I'm going to put the work down here so I have more space. So SiO2 uh, plus four yields SiF4 plus two H2O. Okay, so I'm starting, or I'm I uh, I'm starting with 63.4 grams, so 63.4 grams of HF, and then I'm looking for moles of SiF4. So I'm going to convert from grams to moles, and then moles. This one is of HF. Um, because that's still the line that we're in here. And then we're going to change from moles of HF to moles of SIF4. So that's our first stop. And then our second stop had a grams um, of SIF4. So I'm going to do the first one. Uh, if, you, if you draw this chart, um, we're starting with 63.4 grams of HF. And then we know that whatever's on the top has to go on the bottom in order to cancel and we're going to convert to moles. So this path that we just drew is the top of our um, of our little conversion chart here. Uh, when we go from grams to moles, we use the molar mass. That's from the periodic table. So um, that means I'm going to take the mass of hydrogen and the mass of fluorine and add them together. And I get 20.006, and, um, and that's for every one mole. And then I'm going to put my moles of HF on the bottom and convert to moles of SIF4 on the top. Um, when, I, when I'm doing a mole-to-mole -mole conversion, I use coefficients from my balanced chemical equation. So my coefficient for HF is 4 and my coefficient for SI4 is 1. So I'm going to put that in the calculator as 63.4 um, divided by 20.006 divided by 4. Remember, when you cross the line on the bottom, you hit divide. When you cross the line on top, you hit multiply. So that means my answer is 0 0.7, and I need three sig figs. So in the calculator, you get 0 0.7922. So the two keeps the other two added to, and that's moles of SIF4. And then I can go back up and I can check it, and that's what I got. It also asked me to calculate grams, right? Grams and moles of SIF4. So I'm going to also calculate grams. I'm going to just continue this on. You can rewrite it if you want, but I'm just going to continue it on in a different color here. So I'm going to go one mole of SIF4 to grams. That's this last stop here. And again, going from moles to grams, you use molar mass. So that's again from the periodic table. So I'm going to add up one silicon and four fluorine. And I get 104.078. And now I'm going to put that in the calculator again. I'm going to start at the beginning instead of using the answer from the moles because we rounded that to proper sig figs. So I want all of the sig figs possible so I get the best rounding. So I'm going to start back here at my 63.4. So 63.4. 
again divided by 20.006 again divided because it's on the bottom four and then times because it's on the top 104.078 and I get again I need three sig figs so I get 82.045 uh, so that five is going to round the four up to a five grams of SIF4 so there is my other answer I'm just going to go back up and check and make sure that's right 82.4 and I got 82.5 that is correct um, the reason it might be off by a little bit like that is from the use of a different periodic table for the molar mass here um, which is okay that would be correct on a test so there's an example um, go ahead and do number two and then um, so forth I think there's um, I don't know like 10 or 15 problems. So um, go ahead and do those. If you guys have any questions or need to see more examples, please let me know.